Alright, here we go. We're going with the second uh, video of this particular lesson. This again, this is uh, 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 AP Test 2017, um, Calc AB. This is number 6 of the FRQ. This is a non-calculator question. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so uh, it says here for 0 to 6 seconds, a screensaver on a computer is showing that two circles that start as dots and then they expand outwards. So like so a circle and then just gets bigger. Okay. At the instant that the first circle has a radius of nine centimeters, the radius is increasing at a rate of one and a half or three over two centimeters per second. Find the rate at which the area of the circle is changing at an instant. Uh, indicate okay, so the second circle has nothing to do with this. Alright, so I love pictures. Pictures help me understand the world. All right, so here's our circle, and this circle is getting bigger. Um, so we know that, uh, what do they tell us? That the, when the radius is 9, the, uh, the radius is increasing, so dr dt, so radius with time is 3 over 2. Um, find the rate at which the area, so they want to know the rate of the area, dA, dt. This is what the question is asking right there. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and just start with the area. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to differentiate with respect to time. So that means A is changing and R is changing, so we still have to take uh, derivatives of these letters um, However, we have to attach like a, a da dt or dr dt after that derivative. And so that's how you take it with respect to something besides itself. So here we go. Derivative of a is 1, but so it would be 1 da dt. Okay, here we're taking the derivative of r, so this is going to be 2 pi r. Good to go. However, because we took a derivative of r, dr dt is attached. All right, so we have the derivative, and now uh, what we do is we take these uh, values, and we now we plug them into where we need. So the question is asking, how is the area changing? We don't know this. 2 pi r, the radius is 9, and the rate of the radius is 3 over 2. Um, so this is this. Okay, so 2, 2, so this just leaves a 3, 3 times 9, 27. So this is going to be 27 pi. Okay, so this, uh, this area is changing at 27 pi, so let's make sure we indicate the units. Area is going to be centimeters squared. Area over time, which is seconds. So this is going to be 27 pi, uh, 27 pi centimeters squared uh, per second. Okay, B. Uh, the radius of the first uh, first circle. So again, the first circle is modeled by W is equal to. Okay, so this is the radius. So this is the radius of the first circle. Radius is a W. Okay. Um, is modeled by that, okay, for zero to six, uh, for zero to six seconds, okay, where the radius is measured in centimeters, t is measured in seconds, okay, they're just CYAing their units. Um, at the time t is the radius of the circle increasing at a rate of three centimeters per second. So uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, radius's rate. The radius is rate. So if W is 12, 12 e to the, I'll call this negative 1 half t, all right, the rate of this radius would be dw dt. So this is w prime in essence. This is the, the rate of the radius. And so this is like dw dt, okay? Uh, and so what we do is we are taking the derivative with respect to time. So no funny bits. 12 goes away. E to the e to the whatever stays to e to the whatever. Chain rule brings down a negative one half. 
So negative 1 half would turn this into a positive 6. All right, so that's the rate of the, that's the rate of the radius. So now they want to know what is the rate of the radius at 3 seconds. Um, excuse me, no, when is the radius, excuse me, at, when is the rate equal to 3 centimeters per second? So when is the rate equal to 3 centimeters per second? So this is their math problem. So we divide by 6. Ln. Multiply by negative 2. Okay, uh, and so that's uh, what I would say. And so again, they geek about, out about um, uh, labels. So this would be seconds. The time is that. Now, also, I don't think they're going to really bust you up about having an answer like this. But uh, to match the answer guide, um, here's what the funny business is right here. So two negative two ln one half. Okay, so this is a 2 as a denominator, all right? This is a 2, this is a 2 to the negative 1. Okay, a thing about LNs is, um, yeah, well, a couple different things. LNs, if it's a exponent, you can, it was an upfront multiple. So this 1 can kind of come out of here and multiply up here, so that would be 2 LN2. Or if you really want to think, this could become the exponent. So this is also uh, ln4 if you really want to get crazy. But I don't think they're going to really worry about that. I would just get your math correct and stop. Like, Because, again, I, I worry that a lot of people will get this math wrong. And so they'll turn a correct answer into an incorrect answer. So my advice is, as soon as you get this, just stop. All right, that's my advice. Okay, uh, last section, let's just make sure I'm on the camera here. <clears throat> a model of the radius of the second circle, okay, so brand new circle is uh, given by the function f, okay, measured in centimeters, t seconds. The rate of change of the radius of the second circle is, get, so the rate is given by this f prime, blah, blah, blah. Based on this model, how many centimeters does the radius of the second circle increase from 0 to 3 seconds? Okay, so this is, how does it change, a.k.a. net change? So if you recall, the net change in something, like delta FT net change, is equal to the integral of its derivative. Wow, how fortuitous that this is kind of falling into place. So if I want to know from 0 to 3 seconds, that's where I define my integral. So this will give me the total change in centimeters by taking a integral of its derivative, which they give me. So this is exactly going to answer how many centimeters does the radius change or increase. All right, well, let's find out. So this would be integral from 0 to 3 of t squared minus 4t plus 4 dt. Integral time, t to the third, one third. t squared, one half, 4t. Okay, no plus c because this is a definite integral. Plugging in the three. 27 divided by three is nine. Three is nine times two, negative 18. 3 is 12, so that's the 3. 0 is a 0, 0, 0, so minus 0 in this situation. And so this is going to be 9 minus 18, negative 9, negative 9, plus 12. 12 is bigger by a 3. Um, and so this is the net change in the radius. And so this is going to be in centimeters. Um, so the, um, based upon this model, how many centimeters does the radius of the second circle increase from zero to three seconds? Three centimeters. 